Each year, six people receive Lord Mayor's Civic Awards in recognition of their efforts to improve the lot of the community. Breaking with the usual award ceremony format due to the current pandemic, each individual award winner was presented with their award separately and the presentations filmed. These are this year's recipients. Hi, Councillor Joe Kavanagh, Lord Mayor of Cork, and I'm delighted to be in my chamber here today uh, with the Lady Mayoress, uh, Stephanie, and uh, we are so proud and we're so privileged uh, to, to, to meet our friend again, Oliver, Oliver Lynch, and I'm delighted to award uh, and privileged to be able to award Oliver Lynch a Lord Mayor Civic Award. Um, Oliver, it's, it's a wonderful day for Oliver and indeed his, his lovely family. And um, I want to um, congratulate Alison, or Kevin, uh, Quiva and Ruben as well, because uh, Oliver has been through a magnificent journey and he's uh, an inspiration uh, to so many young people in Cork. Um, you know, fundraising and Oliver has walked tens of thousands. I've lost count at this stage how far you've walked. Uh, I remember being out in Ballincollig um, last summer, the end of last summer, and you were doing a fundraising walk around your estate. And I took one look at you and I said, you know something, what an inspiring, inspiring individual. And I was so inspired <clears throat> by you and your family. And I said to Stephanie on the way back, do you know something, if I can do half as good a job as Lord Mayor of Cork, as Oliver does for people and charities, I will be very happy. So I, 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 said to, I said to Stephanie, going back, I said, well, look, if there's civic awards or some sort of an award, Oliver Lynch, top of my list. Thank you. Um, thank you. We're truly honoured <coughs> to be here today and for my this pleasure. award. It's absolutely amazing. We're very honoured, extremely honoured that you, you've, you've given Oliver this award. It, it yeah. really means a lot to us. Yeah. And thank you so much. Welcome uh, to the Lord Mayor's Chamber this morning, um, a friend and colleague and um, a well-known um, citizen in the local community of Mayfield, um, Joe, Mr. Joe Milan. Joe has been um, a huge contributor to our local community for many, many years. And Joe has been the driving force of the No Name Club in the Mayfield area. The No Name Club has made a significant difference to so many young people's lives in a very positive way over the decades. So Joe, without going on much longer, it's my privilege to present you with a Lord Mayor Civic Award uh, 2021. Thank you. Lord Mayor and Lady Mayoress, I'm both honoured and privileged <clears throat> and humbled this morning to receive this award. Just for the record, I will be 87 next month. I've been volunteering from the age of 15, which makes it 72 years. I've seen Mayfield grow from a village of 25 houses to a massive suburb of the city. But nevertheless, when we came to Mayfield in 1949, I got involved in the GH Club. They were running carnivals to try and make money to buy a pitch. And I went along to one of the carnivals because there was sweet nothing else to be doing around the place. <laughs> and I, some of the lads called me and look, we're inundated here with people wanting to buy tickets in the ticket stall for the prices. Come in and give us a hand. So I gave a hand, but that was the, that was the start of it. And it's, it's still ongoing, actually. I'm a vice president since 1998, so this particular year I'm 50 years involved in the Mayfield J.A. Club. 
we started the street leagues when maybe started expanding in Iona Park, where our great friend Teddy Nagel and his family lived. And as it happened, I had a very close relationship with Teddy Nagel because Mayfield was a completely and totally holding stronghold. But all of a sudden, we decided to start football because young people were kicking a ball around the field that didn't have the cost of a holiday. And we decided to start the football club. And Teddy was chairman after vast experience with car commercials and refereeing and everything else. And I was appointed secretary of the football team. So there was a bit of rivalry between the holding club and the, and the football club. And lo and behold, within three or four years, we were after winning the scene, the, the Cork City Division. I want to thank the Lord Mayor again for this great honour and privilege. And I can assure you that it will hold a place of honour in my home. Thank, thank you, Leah. Honoured and privileged to be joined this afternoon by the iconic legend of Cork boxing, uh, Michael O'Brien. Uh, Michael has spent most of his life um, supporting, building, and developing Cork boxing. Any organisation or any sport is only as good as the people that are actually involved with it. Cork boxing would certainly not be reaching the heights that it is reaching today producing magnificent athletes, magnificent boxers at a very young age and developing into national and international champions if we didn't have the people behind it and driving it. Michael has been driving boxing for many years, empowering people, giving young people confidence. So all I can say, Michael, is thank you so much. And boxing, I'll make one last point. Michael knows I'm very passionate about boxing as a sport. It's a sport in my opinion, and I've said it many times, that is not adequately funded from central government, yet we can still produce national and international champions. Can you imagine what we could do if we were funded properly as a sport? Thank you very much indeed, Stephanie. I'd like to thank formerly the Lord Mayor Cork, Councillor Joe Kavanagh, and the Lady Mayor Stephanie, for giving me the privilege to accept today this beautiful medallion and certificate. Uh, City Hall has been linked with cock boxing uh, for a long, long time. This magnificent building here of elegance and grace was built in 1936, 85 years ago. And we have had boxing all down through the late 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, up to 2030. It has been absolutely magnificent. The amount of people that have come in downstairs to the concert hall and boxed, the great boxers that have come from all over the country, the international tournaments that have taken place in this building. And I, today, on behalf of all those people, have been nominated by the Lord Mayor and honoured accordingly as a member of the boxing community to accept this very prestigious uh, medal today. I am absolutely thrilled and delighted. But again, like everything else, I felt when I came into boxing, particularly from the point of view of being PRO and President of the Board, I felt there was a niche to be filled. And an awful lot of people, Lord Mayor, who had given contributions down through the years had been forgotten. And I felt I seen the opportunity to go back and wake these people out and give them an opportunity through our boxing breakfast to come in and be honoured and bring their families in. And Lord Mayor, you in your capacity as Deputy Lord Mayor, we're at mm -hmm. quite a few of these. Mm -hmm. And it's absolutely magnificent the way the boxing family comes together in a very positive way. In terms of my own county board, uh, my secretary, John Wiseman, and treasurer, Nicola Murphy, and John Casey, and Billy O'Sullivan have been fantastic. And I've worked well with Claudia O'Driscoll, the former treasurer, who has been brilliant as well as part of our administrative staff. The clubs have done magnificent to produce outstanding boxers. The coaches have done brilliantly well. Over the last four or five years prior to the close down from COVID-19, we've had the most successful period we have ever had in the history of cock boxing. We've also had a home of our own in Churchfield, and we do that in conjunction with Cork City Council, to whom I'm very grateful for their great contribution, their great interest, and their great continuing interest in the whole of sport in general. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Thank you very much, Mike.
is indeed uh, our privilege and our honour to have uh, Mr. Dennis O'Donovan in here in the Lord Mayor's Chamber. And I'm absolutely delighted to be able to and have the privilege to present a Lord Mayor Civic Award uh, to Mr. Dennis O'Donovan. Um, uh, this year, the theme of my uh, Lord Mayor Civic Awards has been all about community and people who give to so many. And lots of people don't even realize how much these people give. Dennis ticks all of those boxes uh, adequately, to say the least. Um, I've known Dennis for many years. Uh, Dennis, in fairness to him, has, has been, he's a wonderful family man. He's a great community man, and he's a friend to everybody that he meets. Um, I've known, as I said, I've known him for many, many years. I couldn't say a bad word about him. And he's what I would call, one word, Dennis is a giver. He gives of himself to other people. He's only happy, and what he thrives on, and what keeps him going, is actually giving to people, and giving to community. And that says to me what I personally believe you're a wonderful guy and you're a thorough gentleman. And it is our privilege, Stephanie and I, it is our real genuine privilege to be here this morning to share this wonderful event with you and your lovely family. Thank you, Dennis, and it, it, thank you so much, and it's over to you. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Um, Lord Mayor, Lady Mayoress, um, this is a, a, an absolutely amazing honour for me and my family um, to receive a civic award. Um, Blarney has only been in the city two years, so if you had, if the city council had moved out any later, I'd probably be moved on myself. But uh, <laughs> I think I just made it by the skin of my teeth. Um, no, look, it's a fabulous award. Um, it's it's just a huge honour, and uh, I really I'm not one for long speeches, but look, uh, you know, I'd like to thank yourself and uh, your lady wife and uh, lady Mirrors for this opportunity. And I suppose as I'm here, I'd like to thank John and Sarah as well, because any harebrain ideas that I ever came up with over the years, they kind of looked at one another, went away and had a meeting, and then they supported me all the way. Anything, any fundraising, anything I ever came up with, any ideas, some of them were weird. John always came on board, uh, Sarah as well. And look, you know, it's a, it's a family thing, really, so it's great to have them here as well. And of course, 21 is probably... Uh, is, is an amazing year for, for us because with the birth of our first grandchild, Roisin, so like this is just the icing on the cake for me this year. So again, Lord Mayor, uh, congratulations on the fantastic year both yourself and Stephanie have um, done for the city over the last 12 months and uh, thanks, I really appreciate this. Thank Dennis, you. The pleasure is all ours and uh, I know Roisin is very proud and that's her way of uh, applauding. <laughs> It's indeed an honour and a privilege for the Lady Mayoress, Stephanie and I, to, to present uh, this award and to welcome Margaret and her husband Willie in here to the Lord Mayor's Chamber and City Hall. Um, you know, <clears throat> I, I've done a lot of research and my wife Stephanie, I ran a lot of stuff by Stephanie in terms of um, the, the, the importance of, mid, of a midwife uh, the part that a midwife plays in, in, in a family, um, particularly in the early years when a baby is born and before the baby is born. And you've forgotten more than I'll ever know. <clears throat> but by the same token, the contribution that you have made, and we were looking at so much data, etc. And Stephanie said to me, you know, what an incredible woman. What you have contributed to so many people to so many families and I know for a fact that there are so many people out there that you don't even know that you have made a significant difference to their lives and as Lord Mayor and First Citizen I am genuinely and I'm speaking from the heart here as a parent myself I am genuinely so grateful to everything you've done for so many citizens of our city and of our county well, I just feel really humble <coughs> to be a, a, a accepting this award. I mean, 
I absolutely adore what I do. I love my job. And to me, whatever I could do to help a parent was just part of the job. I, when I stood inside at work, I always thought, if it was somebody belonged to me, or if it was me, how would I like to be treated? And my rule of thumb is, if you treat everybody the way you'd like to be treated yourself, you won't go far wrong. And there are lots of people that have loads of people to help them, and there are people that haven't. And I'm very good at giving out my phone number to people, and if you're worried when you go home, just give me a ring. And it's amazing the amount of mums that will phone me about something that they're just not too sure about. And one phone call, it's just one phone call, and it could help. And I'd like to feel that if I had an issue or a problem, I could do that and somebody would help me. And that's the way I like it. And I work with a fantastic team. They're absolutely brilliant. I think and, and there's a parent that passes through the neonatal unit that wouldn't say that the team in the neonatal unit are amazing. So on behalf of them as well, I am accepting this, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I just, I'm mesmerized. I'm really just, you know, so humbled. I just, but thank you. It's just beautiful. Yeah. privileged to be here and, and privileged to be joined by Mr. Pat Stacey from Glenmire and his beautiful daughter Kira. and um, it is my privilege to honour Pat and recognise his incredible contribution to the Glenmire area over so many years. Now there's a little bit of a rumour out there that Pat is retiring. I can assure you it's only temporary. I know he'll refute that now in a minute but do you know something? I mean, when you have somebody in your community of the status of Pat Stacey and the contribution, the incredible contribution that he makes to the general environs of the Glanmire area over so many years, whether it is tidy towns, whether it is grass cutting, whether it is tree cutting, it doesn't matter. Whether it is involvement in schools, um, initiating uh, various community events within the Glanmire Area Commun Association and um, Pat Stacey's fingerprints are usually all over that. So when it comes to joining the dots in the Glanmire area, we are so lucky to have a man such as Pat Stacey and it is my privilege and the Lady Maressa's privilege to, to have Pat into uh, the Lord Mayor's Chambers today to, uh, to be able to present Pat and show our, I suppose, appreciation by awarding Pat the Lord Mayor's Civic Award for 2021. Mayor Joe, thank you. Thank you very much. It's a real honour to receive this award. Uh, as most people would know, within the tidy towns and the tidying up, it's not just down to me. There's a team of people with CCAD, Liam Ryan and Super Value, uh, CCAD supplying the men, Liam Ryan supplying the support with premises and finance. Uh, and then there's a lot of groups in Glenmire that are getting involved in picking up the litter. Uh, because of COVID, we begin, people are out more, they're walking more, they're beginning to see the beautiful environment they live in. So now people are getting involved in picking up litter, which is, there's, there's always a bit of silver behind the, the cloud, as they say. Yeah. Yeah. So, I look forward to uh, my retirement, but uh, I have to find a space for these at home, and I'm <laughs> sincerely privileged to receive it, and thank you very much. Mm -hmm.